No Nuremberg Toy Fair in January 2021 because of COVID, so let's go virtual. I am pleased to be able to speak to uh, Joris of IMC Models in this kind of a virtual toy fair discussion. So how are, how are you, Joris? Nice to see you, Ian. I'm doing good. Uh, good. Looks like you're in prison there, but I'm sure that's a, I'm sure you've got a nice office, really. It feels like one. <laughs> OK, so uh, 2020, that's been a difficult year for everybody, pandemics and all that kind of thing. How has it been for IMC? For well, IMC, uh, at the first, everything did, uh, did their best to find their, their place, I think, in, in, the, in the pandemic. Uh, everything was new. And now you can see that everything is settled, uh, is that um, people still work on their collection. Uh, they, they, they still, or maybe even further, uh, work on their hobby, so that works fine for us. Yeah. Um, we had to um, um, work from home for some time, of course. And um, what we see now is that it's business as usual. The big companies are planning uh, already for the, the the next big trade shows. Uh, collectors know how to find us. Uh, we have to close our our shop here, of course. Mm. But um, uh, everything goes online anyway today. Yeah. What, what did you concentrate on in two, 2020 as IMC? For 2020 was for us a, a year of uh, uh, scaling up production. Mm-hmm. So in, in 2019 we, we developed a lot, invested in, in a lot of toolings, for example the AC700 truck toolings. 2020 meant that because of all the new toolings we had to upscale our products to, to produce everything we sold. So that meant uh, extra, uh, a larger team, of course, uh, a larger quality control. And um, um, what we had in the in the past, in 2019, for example, if you're talking about thousands of models, we, we had a percentage of, of 5% of dropout. And that that is, that is okay, but um, um, Spending one year just focusing on production, we can get that number down to two, three, three and a half percent, which is a big win. I think we have a uh, uh, we updated our packaging. That helped a lot. For example, we have the uh, uh, I'm sure a lot of people have said we have the the, the new trucks we're working on mm-hmm. um, from Mercedes. We also have the packaging, which is a lot sturdier than we used to have yeah um, mm-hmm. that helps us the the collector a lot it helps the our reseller network a lot because they can also be displayed nice okay so it sounds like you've got uh, more factory capacity now you can make more models which uh, which should be interesting and uh, i'm sure everyone will welcome uh you know if you can improve the quality even further that will be that will be welcome too what about 2021 then what about looking forward for for this year for imc in terms of uh, how the company's developing? Anything, uh, anything for collectors to look through this year? For collectors, we have um, we are working on a new website. Okay. For MC models, so it will be announced in uh, a few weeks, I think, with more background information, uh, better pro- product details, better pictures, uh, more movies, um, uh, a fresh new look. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, license-wise, uh, we are happy to have uh, uh, this year a new license with those on a Bobcat. Which is a, uh, it's a beautiful company to 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 start working for. Yeah, I see that. Uh, obviously, I think most collectors will have already seen that you've announced the uh, a new Dosan model this uh, this year, just a, a week or two back. Yeah, which I presume is the first first yes. model you've done for them. Actually, it's our, our, our first uh, scale one to fifty wheel loader. Okay. It's, uh, it's this one. We already announced it. And nice features, uh, for example, in, in real life, they have the op- uh, option to to flip the mud guard to to do maintenance on the engine. Uh-huh. Uh huh. That's a nice feature that we included in the model. As you can see, for example, here you can see we have detailed engine. Okay. And we just delivered it uh, two weeks ago, I believe. And so far, everything uh, is is good. Everyone is very positive. 
uh, Dosan is very happy with the, 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 the upscaled quality because this is the first uh, in, in, in this quality uh, segment for them. So they were very happy for it. So hopefully that will lead on to more, more Dosan models, will it? Yeah, of course, of course. That's good. Good idea. Um, for Bobcat, we are making uh, some new models, including this one. It's, uh, it's uh, the B730. It's scale 1 to 25. It's for us, um, um, uh, most collectors know us by, by 1 to uh, 50, of course. Yes. Uh, scale 1 to 25 is, is an interesting scale. In, in, in You can show more of the model uh, while keeping a, a, a low price. And uh, it has all the official functions it, it has, uh, like in real. We incorporated some more die cast, so it, it feels more heavy. Mm -hmm. And um, we delivered that so one. Pres presumably that one was 1 to 25 because that was the customer's requirement. They, they wanted it to yep. be that large scale. Yep. They, they were used to 1 to 25. And uh, uh, we said it also more in, in America, for example. So. That was a Bobcat model and some more in the works for them, maybe? Yeah, we are working on a couple more projects for them. Okay, uh, awesome. One of them will uh, appear later this year. And uh, the one we mentioned just now uh, are available as of this month. OK. Now, um, you've always been very well known for trucks, of course. And uh, last year you started making your own uh, tractors. Uh, previously, there were, were techno models, and one of the things you did last year was you started numbering the your limited editions with little numbering plates. Yeah. So I picked that out as my uh, innovation of the year for uh, 2020. So um, I'm, I hope you can see that. This is the this is the award. Thank you very much, Ian. Uh, so I've got it, and you haven't. <laughs> but, but I, I will send it to you, don't worry. So uh, well done for that. I think um, the way you've improved that numbering of the limited edition models is a good thing because it stops the card. You know, if, if, if limited editions used to be numbered, you used to get them on a separate card maybe or something. Yeah. Uh, but of course, that could always get separated from the model. Um, now the model is numbered. So I, I think that's, a, that's a, quite a nice thing to do and improves the, both the collectability and the value, I think, in future of the models. Yeah. So I think that was a good thing. So well done for that. Thank you. Yeah, That's so there good. we are. So that is number 150 of 150. Yeah, the bottom of your truck. And will you expand that to other models, do you think, in some way, or try to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something that we, on all limited editions, we want to do. Um, one of the things you've also done uh, in recent years is resin models. Um, what have you got new in, on that front this year? Yeah. For uh, Mercedes, we had a night project, uh, the Zetros, really uh, a cool machine. You can see it here. Yeah. And Mercedes was very excited to see this one here. Mm -hmm. And it came out, I think, very good. Um, we are scheduling a couple of new ones. And for uh, collectors, we also have the uh, Trojan truck. All right, right. And that is something that uh, has always been a, a, a big one. Uh, and now we have it, which we are really proud of. This was the truck that um, ALE developed, and ALE is the big company that Mammut uh, took over. Yep. So Mammut. it's now out in Mammut colors. Mammut purchased ALE. Yep. And hence the, the Mammut logo on the uh, ALE Trojan truck. And the nice thing that you can see here with, with, with resin is that you can uh, get, it's difficult to see, I think, but, but the, the detail level is, is really fine. It's yes, a, it does allow finer detail, doesn't it, than the, 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 to, to, to do it in resin rather than in metal parts. Yeah, actually, it was the, the most difficult one, was, was it would be uh, fragile, but uh, we have a new uh, composition technology. Uh, which allows us to uh, give it a, a harder, uh, almost metal-like uh, uh, sturdiness and finish. Staying on the theme of trucks, what's uh, what's new for 2021? Uh, for trucks, we are, of course have our, the, the, the Mercedes uh, models that we are expanding. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, we have three exciting products for Notobomb oh. trailers to go with our, our truck schedule. And uh, they are all uh, projected for, for end of this year and uh, two for uh, this summer. What about um, cranes? Now let's uh, think about uh, last year, you got the, the uh, model of the year award from me for the uh, AC700. And we've seen that come out in a number of different color schemes through 2020. Yeah. More to come. Yeah. Of course, we had a, a couple of uh, big series last year with the uh, the, the Sirens edition, uh, Schultz edition, Wiesbauer edition, and um, uh, we don't want to bring too much at once. Um, but we have uh, a nice series that we have running now is the the Wagenborg, for example, coming soon uh, for from real mm -hmm. Dutch companies. And we will be focusing. Yeah, of course, you will see more series this year and, and also next, next year. We are working on some improvements, some small improvements on the crane. Um, uh, we're also working on some uh, uh, matching additions to the, to the cranes. For example, our new load is a heavy transformer load. Typically something for a crane this size. It's nice and heavy. Um, so that, that that can be used in two ways, I guess. It can be used with uh, with a crane, but also it makes a good load, doesn't it, for, for heavy haulage? Yeah, you can load it, load it on, on the moderate trailers or SPMTs, and you can uh, we we include it with with a hook a hook system that you can uh, uh, put in your uh, AC700. Yeah. Okay, and that's a, presumably that's a, that's a, a resin model. It's a resin model combined with uh, edge material. One thing I should ask you about on the AC700, because people are always interested in this, is uh, uh, fly jibs. Any chance of a fly jib, do you think, or is that uh, difficult? Uh, we're looking at it. Uh, it's, it's not something that we um, uh, already agreed upon. But we have the, the, the option to do it uh, weight-wise and everything. So uh, it's, it's still in the open, but... Um, uh, so like wait and see wait and see wait and see okay uh so we've got that load you've just shown us um and on cranes What's yeah in the works uh, the the ac700 was a was a, a big one for us and it really sparked us into the, the the crane section and that means that we um we are of course we're already working towards the the bauma in 2020 uh 22 and uh, we have a lot of big cranes coming up, smaller cranes also. Uh, I can tell you we have uh, at least uh, for this year, we are working on a, a two axle crane, a completely new, uh, a new four axle crane, uh, possibly also even a seven axle crane, uh, a new um, large crawler crane, uh, another crawler crane, rough terrain crane, and um, all in the, uh, the, the the heavy segment. So you can say crane-wise, we are uh, having a busy year, yes. uh, a busy bomber. Well, one of the things that was interesting for collectors, I think, that you did was the blog, the development blog you yep. did for the uh, AC700, where you yep. could show it going through stages. Any chance of doing that for any of these kind of models, do you think? Yeah, on the, on the new website we will launch, we will continue doing this. And for example, the one of the big projects, uh, crane projects, we will uh, start from the beginning, like we did with the AC700. Um, we are for the big crane. Um, we are now in in uh, 3D and prototyping stage. So um, expect in a couple of months that we can guide you to all steps uh, from from A to C. We were actually very happy with the with the feedback we get on the on the development block. We got a lot. We got a, a good conversation with all collectors. Okay, well that's good. I think, uh, and I think people enjoyed um, looking at that too. So um, we've got that to look forward to. Uh, thanks very much, Joyce. That's uh, a very good one. For is there anything else you want to say to collectors for this year? Yeah, stay safe. <laughs> look, stay safe and look 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 forward to our to our new new program. Keep keep sending us your ideas. We are, we are always open for ideas. Um, um, we we love the the dialogue we had this year with our collectors, and they they 
weren't able to visit us normally in our office, but um, keep writing us. Okay, Joris, well, I'm sure people would like to do that and, and help you out in the same way that you help them out with the models that they want. So um, good to see the company moving forward. Good to see you've got a lot in the pipeline. And uh, we hope your team stays safe, stay safe and uh, delivers well in the coming year. We will do it. Thank okay, you. Well, the best. Thank you. Bye-bye.